HRE's right out of the gate, absolutely beautiful, look good here. I saw this car in person, I came over to my house, we did a photo shoot here. Um, like, what, what's what's interesting about this car is All right, no the name the and where it came from, because it's uh, it, it, it's called Tuka. Why is it called Tuka? Maybe you should ask the owner, Randy, <laughs> right here. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Randy wants to roll anybody, but why is it called Tuka, Randy? She picked out the name. Oh, you picked out the name? I'm sorry, your name, ma'am? Nancy. Why is it called Tuka? It's an inside joke, man. Because? Oh, gosh, damn it! Tell the kids. What? Why is it called Tuka? It took a lot of time. Took a lot of patience. Uh... <laughs> took a lot of time. Took a lot of money. So let's just call it what it is. All right. So uh, congratulations. I mean, took a lot of cash, but. You came out with a beautiful car. Um, what's really interesting about this car is um, the chassis it's built on. Because you're gonna you're gonna see a Blazer. You see beautiful HREs, one of one. The I guess you have a love a love uh, you have an affinity for this particular HRE wheel, from what I understand. But we're gonna peel off this pretty Blazer. But the chassis is what? Chassis's got the front is actually Toyota. <laughs> Um, no, it's yeah, it's, yeah. it's in the press release. Yeah. They're gonna find out. They could they could do some you know inspecting here. So the front end is Toyota. You have Jeep parts on this thing. I mean, it's an amalgamation of something very unique. And I think that's again what you do. Kudos to Ring Brothers and you guys and your team. You refine and you take what's available, what's out there because it's all about evolution. And you guys modify some parts to refine it. Yeah, Randy was very. I mean, he's probably one of the most detailed guys as far as like analyzing everything and, and has his input and we were lucky to have Randy but Sean Smith helped us a lot on this and Gabe's did the interior and they, they killed it and you know we're, we're great to work with Steve at Upholster Unlimited and he's amazing but we stuffed Steve with two cars he couldn't get another one done but Gabe's came through with Sean and just I think killed the interior this interior is something special Took the words of my mouth. Shout out to Sean Smith. He's worked with you guys for many years, kind of off and on, consulting. He was full time this and that. So Sean Smith, he did Reactor Razor with you guys, multiple different cars with us. Yeah, and then he had to go on to Steve Celine for a while, so we lost him. <laughs> but he's back. He's again, Sean Smith, absolutely talented designer, and I would agree. You're gonna look at the exterior. We'll peel this cover off. We'll go live on SEMA. Uh, but the interior looks like an elevated, like what a K5, like. GT like would look like the, the the interior is amazing. It really is. I when I seen it for the first time coming out here, obviously we sent this vehicle to California months ago, and uh, I was just you know when I seen it, I'm, it's just very well done. Games they're very special people. They're really good at what they do, and uh, I'm excited for people to see it. Well, we took a lot of time to finally reveal. Are you ready? To get, have you seen it in person? Be honest. Yesterday. Once. Once yesterday. Okay, well, now you get to, you know, see it, witness it. All right, you guys ready to see Tuka? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, come on, dude. I know. It's a marathon, not a sprint, guys. It's Tuesday. Are you ready to see Tuka? A lot of time. Took a lot of money. And now you get to see Tuka up close and personal. What a cool freaking car. Again, the interior. Look at this. Um, the wheels. Why, why, why this wheel in particular? Again, HRE is such a good partner of Ring Brothers, but... Have you, do you have these on other cars in this model? The whole premise of this oh. car was to take a 72 Blazer and modernize it to what it may look like today if it came off the assembly line. It actually started out as it was going to be a pre-render format, and it changed into this into this format here. So it is it is a Toyota front end because we wanted the independent full wheel front suspension and on the four wheel drive. There's a lot of aftermarket parts available, and and the testament is on how different the sizes of these old cars versus new cars. The Toyota Tacoma ones are within a half inch of the same track width as this Blazer back in the day. And this is a full size car in 72. Yeah. And so then it morphed into, what are we going to do with the interior? And um, we, we just, we, we collaborated a lot of different parts to, to get to this finished product. I think that's, again, just such a cool testimonial. Um, power plant wise, are, are you stoked on, you know, why? I mean, what are we looking at here? I mean, horsepower, what are we looking for? Yeah. It's a very drivable 525 horse LS3. It puts out plenty of horsepower for this thing, but it's not crazy horsepower. And that was the other thing. We wanted something 
that we can run this thing down the interstate at 70 miles. I'd be comfortable with it. That's what I understand. Again, the photo shoot was actually, um, I live in Riverside, California. They brought it over to my brother's house. I don't know if you saw those barn pics. And I got to see it in person. And uh, I was like, dude, this thing looks like it's ready to be driven. I think that's what it's begging. Like, give me the keys. Let's go off-roading, right? And you guys live where? This, I'm not, I don't want to give out your address, but where do you guys live? Because like, Fort Myers, Florida. Florida, okay, you're going out, going, going, going swamping out there, huh? Beaching. It may go beaching in time or two. Well, congratulations. You should be, you should be really proud. And again, um, again, took a, like went to another shop, took a lot of time, took a lot of money. But uh, are you stoked and are you ready to thrash this thing? Absolutely. Wait, are you ready to thrash this thing? Absolutely. There we go. All right. Congratulations. Everybody make some noise. Anything else you guys want to add, Ring Brothers? I mean, such an amazing car. One, two, I mean, obviously both, both of yours, but label, congratulations. Obviously, Gentex uh, for having us. But again, I really encourage you to look at the, the metal inserts are so sick. The sad belt matches the wheels and ties it all in. What else? No, I just, you know, there's so much going on. I forget, but Gentex, I cannot thank them enough for everything. Like, hey, check out the rear of this thing and in the Grand National. I mean, there's a lot of little things in our cars, but Gentex is kind of taking us to another level. And it's a relationship that we got. I'm sure they've been there. They're making us better. Uh, and, and that's that's really cool. Like I said, just the technology's out there. Just those little details, it's like having your, we all take it for granted. We've got their phones out and all that. Congratulations on everything you guys did. Do you have anything else going on here? Let's see what is it. Is, are your reveals done? We're done. Let's go get a beer. Let's go get a beer, dude. Congratulations. Make some noise for Ring Brothers, Label Motorsports, Gen Tech. Congratulations, you guys do such a good job, and you really do give back. Um, what are Ring Brothers' parts on this before? Because again, Ring Brothers' booth, booth is down there. You talk about um, the hinges and, and the doors. Hinges. How are you? All right, all right. Humble brag. Oh, I'll drop the mic. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Thank you to Ring Brothers. Thank you to Gen Tech. Thank you, obviously, to Label and what they do. Let's go get a beer. You ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Send it. Randy, you ready to have a beer? Uh, I, got, I got the first rounds on me. Thank you guys so much. Congratulations. Thank you, Gen Sex. SEMA Show 2024 continues. Parties out front. We got SEMA Fest tonight. Google Dolls, OAR. Let's go party on SEMA Fest Friday. I'm here all week, so let's go grab a beer. Send it.